as a heart-wrenching scenario playing out in Austin, Texas, where a family is desperately trying to find their precious 21-year-old daughter. This beautiful young mother vanished more than a month ago, and the family does not understand why police aren't doing more to find her. They say the clock is ticking. Last night, here on Issues, it was bombshell after bombshell after bombshell. Julie's Aunt Dora came on the show, and then before we knew it, Julie's mother and her estranged husband called in, each to tell their side of the story. Now, Julie has not been seen since March 26th. That's more than a month. She and her husband, George, a security guard, are in the middle of a divorce. George de la Cruz says he last saw Julie when she came to his house to pick up their two-year-old daughter. He's sticking funny. to a story that she showed up, she just was acting funny, and she just abruptly said, you know what, I'm not going to take her. I'm going to leave her with you for a few days. I'll be back. So the estranged husband is the last person to see Julie before she vanished. The smallest victim in all of this, Julie's little girl, two-year-old Layla. I want to be part of the investigation, and I want to know answers, too. Like I said, my daughter's here. She suffers a lot for her, and it makes me sad for, to see her cry whenever she asks about Julie. Julie's family says they're the ones who found Julie's car abandoned outside the Walgreens where Julie worked as a pharmacy technician. It had been there for days, they say. The family also says cops did not find it in that obvious location and then never bothered to fingerprint the car. Why not? Has the Austin Police Department dropped the ball here? I am taking your calls on this. 1-877-JVM-SAYS. That's 1-877-586-7297. Straight out to my phenomenal expert panel, along with HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks and investigative reporter Michelle Sagona of michellesagona.com. We have four members of Julie's family. Let us introduce them to you. Her aunt and uncle, Dora Cooper and Gil Soto. Then we also have Julie's estranged husband, George De La Cruz. Thank you for joining us, George. And Thank also you. the missing woman's mother, Sandra Soto. Thank you all so much for being here. All we really want to do is to solve this mystery and find Julie and help you do that. Let's start with the mother. Sandra, when was the last time you spoke to Austin police and what did they tell you they are doing about your daughter's disappearance? The last time I actually spoke with them was this morning, and they just had a few more questions for me and uh, just asked me, you know, some basic questions, and then, um, then that was just early this morning, and I haven't really spoken with anybody else. I've been waiting by the phone all day, but well, no wait, more phone Wait a calls. second. Now, they called you this morning? Uh, let me see. No, I called them this morning. Okay. I called them. I went ahead and called them. Okay. Now... When, before that, when did you speak to them? I speak to them on a daily basis. Okay, that's I'm trying good. To, I'm trying to, you know, find out why are they not doing what they should have been doing since day one. What do you think they should have been doing? They should have uh, looked at her car. They should have looked at uh, any video footage from any of the places where she was uh, said to have been last seen. They haven't done that. They should have polygraphed uh, people who said that uh, they spoke to her last. You mean or... uh, her strange husband, George? Well, yes. Okay. What and else the should only, they have done? And the reason that I say that is because, you know, if George has nothing to hide, I want him to at least, you know, eliminate himself from this case. Right, and he says he's willing to take a polygraph. So here's my big issue tonight. Where are the cops on this? Let me get this straight. A 21-year-old college grad pharmacy tech disappears, leaves behind a toddler, a loving family. There's been no sign of her for more than 30 days. She leaves her job. She leaves behind her brand new car. And police aren't out searching for her? Now, we tried all day to ask Austin police the following questions. Did they fingerprint Julie's car? Are they tracking her cell phone? Have they executed any search warrants? Are they conducting any official searches with or without canines? Has there been any activity on her credit cards or ATM card? We finally got a response from Austin police late this afternoon. Quote, the case is still open and ongoing, but the Austin Police Department can assure everyone that the case is being investigated to the extent allowed by law. Investigative journalist Michelle Sagona of michellesagona.com 
joins us live now. Michelle, I understand you have new information on this case. I do. Uh, Jane, within the last hour, I was able to get in touch with Detec Detective Scott, who's one of the lead investigators, and I asked him all of those questions. We sat on the phone for 25 minutes, and here are the answers. First of all, Detective Scott does want everyone to know that there is some, quote, some indication that Julie may have wanted to withdraw contact and also that there is no foul play suspected in this particular case at this time. And so when I asked him about the particular, about her car and about it being fingerprinted, he said, no, not at this point, uh, because there is not foul play and they need to focus their resources into tracking down those particular leads. As far as the pings on the cell phone, he says that he does not have uh, the ability at this time because of the foul play issue to be able to move forward with those particular search warrants to obtain, to be able to track her cell phone because if she wanted to go missing she does have a right to do that also as far as the executed search warrant he said every single person that he has reached out to has been uh, extremely helpful including George and will let uh, George says, says hey look you can take my computer you can look at it you can do whatever you'd like uh, George is, as you mentioned has also been willing to take a lie detector in this particular case and as far as the activity on the ATM card uh, detective Scott says Hey, I cannot comment on the ATM card at this particular point, All right. uh, but that's one thing that we are looking into. Excellent work as always, Michelle Sagona. Dora Cooper, Julianne Gonzalez's aunt. If, in fact, police think that this is not, as you just heard, foul play, have they given you any indication whatsoever as to why they think this is not foul play, since you think it is? No. I'm sure if they would have found some blood or some semen or a glove or something, maybe they would have suspected foul play, but what what signs need to be shown in the vehicle or anywhere she was for them to classify it as foul play? They have not been able to define foul play for us yet. What but, defines foul play? Well, wait, Sandra Soto, uh, you're the mother. You say mm -hmm. your, your family found the car. They didn't find the car, and then they didn't fingerprint it. My question is, how do they know there's no foul play if they didn't fingerprint the car? Now. Uh, did Julie have a computer, Sandra? No, she didn't. When she moved, she didn't have a computer. She just had her iPhone. And she did all her texting from her iPhone. All right. George De La Cruz, <coughs> Julianne Gonzalez's husband. Yes. Okay. You have a computer. Yes, I do. Did police look <coughs> into your computer? No, they haven't. So they came to your house. So what did they do? Uh, they searched, like, every room outside uh, the sheds that we have back there. They search er everywhere uh, to just to make sure we're hiding her. But did they, they didn't look in your computer? No, they didn't. All right, uh, Mike Brooks, you're listening to all of this. Yep. You're the law enforcement analyst. How do they know there is no foul play if they haven't looked in her computer, if they didn't fingerprint her car, and they didn't do any searches? First of all, Jane, Thousands of people go missing every single day. At least 2,000 children go missing every single day. And as I said yesterday, that they classify missing persons cases as critical or non-critical. Foul play, when they found the car, were there any keys in the car, left in the car like someone may have snatched her out? No. Uh, was there any sign of, of the struggle? Was there any blood visibly in the car? No. Were there any windows broken out? No. There's nothing to indicate right now 